The Al Kebula Revivalist Movement presents Africa Speaks with Al Kebula on Galaxy Radio 102.5 FM and GalaxyAsiwi.com, the only D brainwashing station. Weekly discussion and live debate on all issues affecting the African community at home and abroad. Tune in Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. and have your say as we talk it straight and make it play. It's live, it's hot, it's scintillating, it's real. It's Africa Speaks to Val Kebulan on Galaxy Radio, the only deep brain washing station. Tendai Mwadi, be thankful unto God. Greetings, Galaxy family. You're tuned into Africa Speaks with Al Kebalan. Hosting tonight's program is Brother Shakara and myself, Sister Kai. It's Monday, the 8th of Messiah, and it's five minutes past the hour of eight. Al Kebalan is known for keeping its finger on the pulse of the community, addressing the most pertinent and controversial issues some radio stations just won't touch. So keep it locked on 102.5 FM or www.galaxyafiwi.com and join us for the next two hours by calling 07923-334-515 alternatively 07399-3596. Four one kings and queens. Ten nine morning. Ten nine morning. On Africa Speaks of Al Kebalan, we talk it straight and make it plain. This show is not for the faint hearted. Ten nine morning. Ten nine morning. Yo, this is Swiss So Solid. Africa Speaks of Al Kebalan. Galaxy one hundred two point five. Blaze the fire. 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 All right, kings and queens, you're tuning to Africa City of Al and tonight our subject is rebuilding the government. Where is Garveyism going? Once again, kings and queens, rebuilding the government. Where is Garveyism going? And our very, very, very special guest is the ninth successor to the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Mazaya Garvey, and the tenth and most current president general of the UNIAACL, kings and queens, Baba Senghor Jawara Baye, president general of the UNIAACL. A A C L Tendamwari. 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 Give thanks, Shakara. Um, and let me take this opportunity to welcome our resident guest. He's a spiritual leader of the Al Kebala Revivalist Movement. He's also co chair of the Interim National African People's Parliament and UK Ambassador to the UNIA A C L. Tendai Mwari, greetings and welcome, Brother Leader Bandaka. Uh, Tendai Mwari, Sister Kai, Brother Shakara, I bring greetings to you and to our beloved and treasured listeners in the most precious, powerful, and bountiful name of our motherland, Al Kebula and Mama Africa, in the sacred spirits of our most gracious ancestors, and in a prayer for oneness, hope, and prosperity for all African people upon the face of Mother Earth. Zokuna Mwari, Africa, to the God of Africa. To the God of Africa be the glory. It is a joy to be an African and a joy to be on Galaxy Radio, ministering to the most important people on the planet, the sons and daughters of Africa, if only to say, Garvey lives! Garvey lives! Garvey lives! Garvey lives! Garvey lives! Garvey lives! Messiah 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 lives! On this eighth day of the observance and celebration of the life and legacy of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, as always in the eighth month of the year, which we have duly renamed and reclaimed as the month of Mosiah. Tendai Mwari. Yo, this is Swiss So Solid. Africa speaks with our cable land. Galaxy 102.5. Blaze the fire. 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 
Tanamwari Kings and Queens, as has been said, you are in tune to Africa Speaks with our cable line on Galaxy Radio, the only deep brain washing station. And as you know, it's the month of Messiah. Garvey lives. Garvey lives. Messiah lives. Messiah lives. And as usual, the our cable line revivalist movement has a full, 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 very, very full Messiah program, especially for you, Kings and Queens. We would like to announce, we are pleased to announce our upcoming uh, Messiah session where we will be tackling the subject of who is Carlos cooks kings and queens for those who may not know uh in our second messiah session we shine a light on the on one of the unsung heroes of black nationalism and who kept black nationalism alive between the legacies of papa garvey he was a student of papa garvey uh, and omawali malcolm x as a teacher of omawali malcolm x carlos cooks was an african legionnaire of the unia aco a champion of black economic development and a fierce anti-colonialist after the passing of papa garvey baba cooks stood at the helm of the garvey movement keeping on compromising race first nationalist pan-africanism alive um and for all his good work few too few of us know who he is kings and queens so we are going to be correcting that particular reality on this coming ojima day tomorrow the 9th of messiah because you know we don't call the month august anymore kings and queens we refer to it as messiah so today is the 8th of messiah tomorrow is the 9th of messiah and our presenter will be uh, the uh, e- w- editor-in-chief of the world with newspaper and producer of africa speaks with our cable and brother ola Tun- G. Heru. Uh, admission is absolutely free. And this event is taking place at Mama Africa Culture Shop, uh, 282 High Road, Leighton, E10, 5PW, uh, from the, the hour of 7 p.m., Kings and Queens. For more information, do check. For more information, do check our website alkebolan.org forward slash messiah 2016 that's a-l-k-e-b-u-l-a-n forward slash Mazaya 2016. All information regarding all our Mazaya events can be found there, including our Mazaya Children's Day. Yes, indeed, Kings and Queens, mm. our Mazaya Children's Day coming up this uh, Koumba Day Friday, the 12th of Mazaya. Uh, it's a day, fun day, dedicated to our, the children, Kings and Queens. If we're not teaching the children about Marcus Mazaya Garvey, there's no longevity in the legacy of Marcus Mazaya Garvey. So we teach the children uh, uh, at a rate of five pounds per head for all children. It's taking place as a part of the Al Kebalan Academy of Excellence Summer Program. Program. From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Mama Kai, um, what, 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 what kind of activities are going to be taking Jenny place at the, at the um, 10 of it was 11. Oh, God, you're dragging me out of my bed. Oh, early. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah we, we, we'll change that then. 11, 11 a.m., Kings and Queens. Yeah, the, the Messiah Children's well, Day. You don't have it open for 10 anyway. So All right, okay, kids, okay, you know? okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, what, what kind of things can they expect at Mama Kai at the, at the Mazaya Children's Day? What kind Day? of things? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they can expect to be um, just going to taught songs and games around Papa Garvey. They're going to be taught um, for, at their level st- um, the history of Papa Garvey mm-hmm. and uh, the UNIA, mm-hmm. as well as they're going to have, it's, it's like a party as well. So there'll be music, there'll be plenty of food, sweet milk food. So you don't have to bring packed lunch or anything. So there's going to be plenty of food for them to eat. Games to play, quizzes, prizes. It's going to be just a fun day, mm-hmm. a learning day, but a fun day as well. All right. Yeah. So you heard yeah. it, Kings and Queens, the Messiah Children's Day taking mm-hmm. place on Friday, the, twen- the 12th of Messiah, uh, this coming Friday, in fact. Uh, at the Mama Africa Culture Shop, 282 High Road, Leighton, Kings and Queens. And once again, alkebolan.org forward slash Messiah 2016 for all information, including information on the State of the Race Convention, where we will be addressing the issue of, st- of, of the black youth uh, sorry, Black Youth and the Black Image and Media Revolution. Do check out the information where that is concerned. Our Messiah event in Birmingham, Messiah and the Black Arts Revolution, Kings and Queens. Because we're taking it national right about now, Kings and Queens. All our events, including uh, the Power of the Garveyite Woman and Messiah Storm, Kings and Queens. The 10th anniversary. Do stay tuned for this message. Storm, the annual event honoring Marcus Messiah. Messiah Storm. The annual event honoring Marcus Messiah Garvey, bringing you the Black Music Revolution in progress. It's the Messiah Storm 10th anniversary, and this year we're going in big! Hosted by Shaka Ra! With a heavyweight lineup featuring the very best in revolutionary entertainment, including full live band Ashiba and the African Revolution, Dirty Goods, JJ Souls, the return of the best kept secret spoken word collective, Raspek Firebingi, Soldier MC, and Mr. Messiah Storm himself, Gallon. Doors open at 5 p.m. with the Black Power Market, putting Black Group Economics into action. Messiah Storm takes place on Saturday, the 27th of Messiah, 
August at the Caribou Centre, 7, Gresham Road, London, SW9, 7PH. Tickets, £10 in advance, more on the door. Limited edition early bird tickets going for just £7. Get yours now at alkebulan.org. That's A L K E B U L A N.org forward slash Messiah Storm. This is an event not to be missed. Messiah Storm 10th anniversary special. The Black Music Revolution in progress. Supported by Galaxy Radio and Got Kush TV. Yes, indeed, kings and queens. That was the advert for Messiah Storm, the tenth anniversary. Messiah Storm started in two thousand and six, and as a part of our tenth anniversary, just in case you missed it, kings and queens, we are adding the power market. We've always had stores, you know. We've always had stores, but this year we're gonna have a heightened focus on our stores. The first two hours of the event, from five pm to seven, will be de- dedicated exclusively to what we're calling the Black Power Market. If you are an African business, if you are an African business or institution that is interested in showcasing your wares at the Messiah Storm Black Power Market, do call the booking number, Kings and Queens, which is 07834-260588. I won't read the number again. All I'll do is tell you to go to alkebolan.org forward slash power market to get all the information you need on the power market for Messiah Storm Kings and Queens. We want to fill up the place of African businesses, especially with the heightened focus on buying black and supporting black businesses in this day and age at this particular moment in time, kings and queens. So do support the black power market. Indeed, you know, say it's going to be full up, ram up and jam up because Messiah Storm always is. So do you do not miss out on this beautiful opportunity to connect with the African character, sorry, the African community, as in particular, our young people. Let the youth, the African youth see African people in business uh, and provide some, uh, you know, some inspiration mm-hmm. for our aspirations as young people. Tendam Warrior. Tendam Warrior. Tendam Warrior. Brother Leader, you want to give our community the details? Yes, um, indeed. Regarding our building appeal fund? Yes, Tendam Warrior. Gabi lives. Gabi lives. lives. Yes, brothers and sisters, as you can see, the Al Kebelan Revivalist Movement continues to serve the community with a keen sense of duty and and an abundance of integrity. Throughout this month, brothers and sisters, we have a number of programs and activities around the celebration of the life and legacy of the most eminent prophet and king is excellency marcus messiah garvey and we know that you are going to be at all of these events in your numbers i just want to say very quickly before i give out this this number brothers and sisters that you know the messiah storm is led by the young people of the al kebelan revivalist movement the al kebelan revivalist movement uh youth or army in, in other words, and so the young people, my brothers and sisters, when, you, when the youth you know, have the consciousness and they have the energy and the aptitude and the discipline to organize in the name of our liberation, we have a duty to turn out and to vindicate their efforts and their commitment uh, by responding to the call that they put out. This is the month of Messiah, brothers and sisters, and what made the Marcus Messiah Garvey, Papa Marcus Messiah Garvey in the UNIA so successful was that when the call was put out, the people answered the call. The people joined the UNIA ACL. They paid their monthly subscription or weekly subscription or annual subscription. The people bought shares in the business concerns of the UNIA ACL. And they gave, made uh, contributions to the Liberia project, for example, uh, or the social welfare projects of the UNIA ACL. And it is in that spirit and in that vein, brothers and sisters, that we uh, come to you again, reminding you that the al Revivalist Movement is serving you, the African community, on a daily basis with a range of programs. And as we always emphasize we educate our children a group of african children six days a week with our homeschool collective that operates during the week monday to friday and uh with a view to establishing a full-time fully established school and on a saturday we have our uh our Kebulan academy of excellence 
our Saturday school educating children from the age of ages of three to sixteen. It all happens at our headquarters, brothers and sisters, and we need the support of our community not only to keep the roof over our heads but to keep all our programs going, including our educational institutions. So we are urging everyone in the spirit of Mosiah. This is the month of Mosiah. In the spirit of Mosiah, to uh, note the these details. And sometime within the next few days, uh, please stretch your hand forward and make a contribution to the al Kebalan revivalist movement so that we can continue to uh, serve our community with a keen sense of duty and an abundance of dignity. The, the information are as follows. The bank account details, Nat West, uh, Account number 23503351. That's 23503351. Sort code 560017. That's 560017. Uh, the account name is, Af- is Mama Africa. Africa spelled A F R I K A. That's A F R I K A. Uh, or pay in person, brothers and sisters, make your contributions in person at our headquarters at 282 High Road, Leighton, uh, E10, 5PW. Alternatively, for further information or to arrange uh, perhaps uh, monthly payments, monthly contributions, or other methods of, of making contributions, please call 07908-814152. That's 07908 07908- Eight one four one five two and or zero seven nine three nine two nine two seven two zero. That's zero seven nine three nine two nine two seven two zero. Reminding you, brothers and sisters, in the spirit of Mosiah, that every penny you invest, every penny you contribute to the Al Kebalan Revivalist Movement, comes right back to you and your children and the unborn in the services that we have delivered 30 years almost of hard work and commitment and devotion since the birth of the Al-Keblan revivalist movement. Tendai Mwari. Tendai Mwari, brother, you give thanks for that. Once again, Kings and Queens, let us remind you, let us remind you again, following in that Garveyite spirit, that Garveyite methodology, Kings and Queens, about the uh, Pan-African Investment Day, Kings and Queens. Yes, we did have to reschedule, reschedule from the 24th of July. We uh, had to reschedule for, to the 17th of September. It is going ahead, Kings and Queens, uh, the Pan-African Investment Day, where we are asking you to invest in three African institutions, Kings and Queens. Um, the Marcus Garvey Nursery, Mother Earth Mineral Mining Services, and the African Food Hall. Uh, we are asking you to, in, we are calling the community to invest in these institutions and facilitate the putting of black group economics into action, the mastering of the art of African group economics, kings and queens. We must invest in our own institutions uh, more than we invest in Babylon if we are to change our conditions, kings and queens. And as Baba John Henry Clark says, uh, people rise and fall in the context of institutions. And so therefore, uh, you can check out all the information for the Pan-African Investment Day, kings and queens, investment uh you know it uh precludes the fact that you have not precludes insinuates that you have an interest whilst you invest in these um institutions that creates a mutually beneficial relationship kings and queens we are developing our own communities you can check out our keboland.org forward slash paid our keboland.org forward slash paid for all informations and as uh for your information we are t- letting you know that the in the initial investment is only one pound kings and queens that's your entry for the for the evening you know for the day sorry only one pound based wow. upon the uh, idea that we should all be investing something in even, that day. Even I can afford that. Indeed. Everybody <laughs> can afford one pound kings and queens. But the principle of the fact of it is that, uh, you know, we, we believe that the, the, the principle of investment should begin as soon as we get through the door kings and queens to get us in that, in that mentality, in that good practice in, in, you know, our entire community. So this is what you call mass community investment. And this is a, a strategy that was most certainly employed successfully by the UNIAC. ACL under the leadership of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey. So we are simply bringing that particular strategy uh, to you 
uh, today, kings and queens. This sounds like another example of putting words into action, uh, brother. Most Shakara. definitely, <laughs> most and definitely. Isn't that the essence of the legacy of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah? Well, well, as we say, the man, the vision, and the plan, mm -hmm. and it's the people that put the plan into action. So we're definitely putting the plan into action. Uh, this uh, th th in this day and age, brother leader. Uh, right. and, and having said that, I, I, it was I, I'm remiss to, to remember to state that um, the. Messiah season this year is brought to you by the Al Kebala Revivalist Movement and Messiah Division 304. UNIA ACL Messiah Division 304 Kings and Queens. Um, uh, and, uh, under and the this... ambassadorship and the presidentship of uh, Brother Lida Bandaka and also uh, Brother Ola Tunji Heru. And this might be a good time to give a shout out to uh, the One Aim uh, Division. Most definitely. Under the presidency of Brother Shanga B, we send our love and we send our inspiration and prayers to our brothers and sisters and bid them all the best and all the power and blessings so that they can continue to do the fine work that they're doing uh, under the auspices of the UNIA ACL. Heal them. Heal them. Garvey lives. Garvey lives. Messiah lives. Messiah lives. Heal it. The one in division is hosting uh, a, a Messiah celebration on Papa Garvey's birthday, and we shall get the information about that event to you later on, kings and queens. But for now, you are tuning to Africa Suites of Our Kebalan on Galaxy Radio, the only the brainwashing station. Our subject today is rebuilding the government. Where is Garveyism going? Tenamwari. Tenamwari. Garvey lives. Garvey lives. Messiah lives. Messiah lives. He lives. Af Africa Speaks of Our Kebalan is honored to host the 10th UNIAACL. President General, the Right Honorable Baba Senghor Jawara Baye, the ninth successor to the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey. Uh, Baba Senghor will be taking some time out of his busy schedule, preparing for the government of the UNIA ACR's 59th International Convention being held in Queens, New York from the 16th to the 21st of Messiah. Under Baba Senghor's stewardship, the international profile of the UNIA ACL has risen dramatically with new charters established Established in Africa, the UK, and the US of A, with additional divisions planned for Central America. Baba Senghor also amassed an enviable array of ambassadors to help convey the UNIA ethos globally, including UNIA ACL traveling ambassador Dr. Anoko Rashidi, Mama Marimba Ani, as the race first. Sovereign as the ambassador for race first sovereign development, Dr. Anthony Browder, the ambassador for Egypt, brother Raymond Duque, uh, as the ambassador of Haiti, Haiti indeed, and our very own brother Lide Bandaka as the UK ambassador, kings and queens. This ascendancy couldn't be more timely with levels of international mobilization against state violence and extrajudicial killings not seen for a generation and a high demand for reparations. This contrasted against a backdrop of Brexit and the reported rise of hate crimes in the UK, extremism across Europe, the increasing militarization of the police and the resurgent white nationaliz nationalism evidenced by the presidential campaign of Donald Trump and the confluence of right-wing commentaries that has coalesced around it. Although there is plenty of evidence that a Clinton presidency does not bode well for Africans in the USA either. We review the last eight years of the President General's tenure that has coincided with the Obama administration and explore where has the terms of the first African-American president left African people and in and what is on the horizon for the UNIA ACL? So tonight, Chris, Kings and Queens, we ask the question, rebuilding the government. Where is Garveyism going, Kings and Queens? What is the UNIA ACL prescription for the current global wave of protest? How is the UNIA ACL engaging with it? Where has eight years of Obama left African people in the USA and globally? What are the prospects for Africans under a Clinton or Trump presidency? What are the main priorities for the UNIA ACL government? Our special guests are... As already announced, the UK ambassador of the UNIA ACL Kings and Queens, Brother Lida Mbandaka, and 
it is our pleasure to introduce to you the President General of the UNIA ACL, ninth successor to the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Mazaya Garvey Babasengo, has so served in the UNIA ACL since 1980. He served as the third assistant president general between 96 and 2008. Uh, and as the District 3 c Commissioner of the uh, of DC, um, VA and MD between eight, 1989 to 2008. Uh, in Mazaya, 2008, he was elected to the office of President General. Baba Sengo has worked with many Pan-Africanists and community-based charitable formations for over 40 years. He is seeking re-election for his third term as President General at this year's UNIA ACL International Convention. Baba Sengo, are you with us on the line? Yes. Okay, Baba Sengo, I can just about hear you. Stay on the line. It's not your fault. It's, it's, there's something um, not quite functioning on our end. So do stay on the line. We're going to try and resolve that at the moment, Baba Sengo. Uh, but we, we, we know that you're definitely there. So do stay on the line, Baba Sengo. Kings and Queens, log the all-important uh, interactive numbers. They are... Zero seven nine two three double three four five one five. Alternatively, zero seven three nine nine three five nine six one four. Kings and queens, you're going to have an opportunity to speak live and direct to the man who sits in the seat of Papa Gavi, Baba Sengor Jawara Baye, President General of the UNIA ACL. Tendamwari. Yo, this is Swiss So Solid. Africa Speaks with our cable land. Galaxy 102.5. Blaze the fire. Uh, particularly greetings to our uh, UK UNIA ambassador. Marcus Giave family. Ancestors no leave me. Naya Bingi. Bobo Shanti. Ay, 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 oh, oh, oh. Tenanwari Kings and Queens, that was the man called Taros Riley Kings and Queens, Shaka Zulu Pitney, and we are Mazaya Pitney Kings and Queens, Garvey Lives. Garvey Lives. Um, we're going to interact with the ambassador just a little while, while as we're sorting out these technicals that are, you know, keeping us, uh, you know, in suspense for our President General Kings and Queens. Um, but yes, the question we are asking is rebuilding the government. Uh, where is Garveyism going? And uh, last Sabbath, we were addressing what the activists of today can learn from the Garvey movement. Today, we're going to be putting it more specifically in the context of the direct legacy of Papa Garvey himself, which is the continued growth and development of the organization which he began, uh, which is the UNIA ACL Kings and Queens, which is very much still alive. Uh, we're going to interact with the President General. But the ambassador is here. Um, and uh, just in relation to uh, the, your position as ambassador, brother leader, yes. uh, in relation to our question in terms of rebuilding the government, uh, what is the specific role of the ambassador of the UK for our brothers and sisters to know? Well, Tenai Mwari. Tenai Mwari. Well, first of all, let me just uh, hope and pray that Mwari Muzumukuru and uh, the deity Ogun will clear the pathway so that we will soon be hearing the voice of our president general. Uh, to speak to us on the bigger the bigger question that we've raised this evening mm -hmm. about the the government of the UNIA uh, ACL and where is uh, Garveyism and the government of the UNIA uh, directing uh, our people to at present? But let me just say that the the role of an ambassador, uh, as in in any uh, context, is that the ambassador is the representative would be normally the representative of a government mm -hmm. in a particular region. The ambassador would have a particular remit uh, to represent the government and the president of that government. Right. In this case, um, the, the president general of the UNIA ACL is Baba Sengo Baye. Uh, and as he would put it, I am his eyes and ears right. uh, here in the UK. So I speak directly with him. I report directly to him mm -hmm. and it is also my role to continue to promote and elevate the name uh, of the UNIA ACL, spread the name of the UNIA ACL and mobilize interest mm -hmm. uh, in the UNIA ACL amongst Africans domiciled here in the UK. So those are, you know, amongst the, the role 
uh, that that I would have um, as as ambassador. Okay. Now, listen, bro. You might say that well, I came on the Revolution. You've been in that since 1987. You know what I'm saying? How does how does your appointment to um, uh, ambassador of the UNIA, um, not just spiritually of the Akilani Revivalist Movement, change that? Does it have any impact upon that work? Or well, Tendai Mwari, as, as, again, as uh, the President General himself, Baba Sengobaye, uh, s- put it, when, when I asked him exactly what do you want me to do, his exact words were, continue to do what you have been doing for many, many years. Because it is precisely because he came to the UK and observe the work that we were doing to keep the name of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, alive, and to also keep the name of the UNIAACL alive and make it known to our people here in the UK that the UNIAACL is still in existence. Yes. And so he was um, suitably ex- impressed with the work that he saw us doing yes. uh, as nationalist Pan-Africanists, as Garveyites, and uh, really... Uh, urged me to continue the work and us as al Kebulan to continue the work that we were doing except now um, we have an official role right. official role and official responsibilities and now I was reporting directly right. to him as the President General of the UNIA okay. ACL so everything is official now right. what right. we were doing before was unofficial now it is official and now we are official members right. of the UNIA ACL okay. and part of the governmental structure all Ten right, you've talked for that, brother. Yeah, Ten Nine Warrior. I do believe we have the President General back with us, Baba Sengo. Right. Okay. <laughs> we still got an issue with the with the with the line. Uh, Baba Sengo, just stay on the line. Yeah, we're we're working it out right now. Uh, still coming through, very very quiet. You're definitely there, just very quietly, Baba Sengo. Um. So yeah, please do stay with us. Um. Right. Okay, brother leader. Um, so yeah, whilst we, we still get our, our president general through, um, uh, in, in terms of um, how, from your perspective, how have you observed the development of the UNIA ACO since being ambassador? I mean, we, we, we announced earlier you're in a kind of illustrious company, brother leader, along with but people like Renoka Rashidi and Mama Marimba Ani and and um, and and um, uh, Baba Tony Browder, Browder, and you know what I'm saying. So how have you, how have you observed the, the development of the UNIA ACO in that time? Well, Tenai Mwari, you, you, you started to answer the question because mm-hmm. in the spec that was read out earlier on, mm-hmm. uh, the the, the spec outlined the developments that have taken place under the uh, stewardship of Baba Sengo Baye uh, in terms of raising the international profile of the UNIA ACL, which is, which is extremely uh, important. And uh, that includes establishing branches on the African continent, bran- uh, branches in the UK. We now have two branches uh, here in the UK. Uh, branches have been exp- uh, expanded across the United States of America. Uh, Branches are being established or divisions are being established in in Central America. And uh, you've outlined a number of uh, notable uh, warrior scholars, uh, particularly from the United States, who have now been appointed as ambassadors to the UNIA ACL and who are therefore promoting the, 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 the name of the UNIA ACL, promoting the works of the UNIA ACL and, and adding important value to the uh, to the work of the of the organization and to the profile of the organization. Tendai Mwari. I know that Baba Senga Baye has made um, several trips to the to the motherland, you know, where he's making very important uh, contacts uh, on the ground and you know where he is where there are plans to develop economic programs and important political links so those are the areas in which um progress has been made and and is continuing to to be made uh in the UNIA ACL under the presidency of uh Sengo ba- Baba Sengobai Tendai Mwari mm, Tendai Mwari all right so t- touching on cuz uh, obviously the thing about being a, a part of the UNIA ACO is that you, you kind of have 
you're stepping into big shoes one mm -hmm. and you kind of have a, a very very definitive legacy from which to measure your progress mm -hmm. yeah um so we're talking about the UNIA ACL that in in in, in the 1920s uh, sent a delegation to Liberia with $50,000 uh, worth of industrial equipment, you know what I'm saying? So we're talking about the operations of a government, mm -hmm. yeah? Um, you know, f specifically for the purpose of industrializing uh, Liberia, uh, for industrial development and agricultural in development, mm -hmm. yeah? And this is what they did in 1920. We're nearly a century later, and obviously, you know, um, neocolonialism has taken hold in, in Mama Africa. Um, is the battle to get back to that particular point? Because really, we're trying to, what the essence, we're trying to get back to that point where we can send $50,000 or pounds or whatever, uh, or, the, or today's equivalent of that to the African continent for similar purposes. Um, what, what do you see as the main obstacle between where we are at now and us being able to get to that particular point? Well, t first of all, Tenai Mwari, what, what we have to remember, you know, is that even after the Papa Gavi was, um, was ousted from the United States of America and trumped up charges were brought against him, etc. And the American government... Sorry, Robert, we're, we're, we're going to check if you've got the uh, president once right, again. Okay. Baba Sengo? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's still not coming yeah, through proper. I'm not sure what's going on. Baba Sengo, I'm, we apologize here yeah, sincerely. We're not sure exactly what the problem is, but we're endeavoring to fix it, okay? So please do stay on the line um, and stay tuned. Okay? All right, ten and more. Um, all right, just keep chanting some positive vibrations, brothers yeah. and sisters. Sp keep sending some positive energies, so that uh, the way will be open, brothers and sisters. The pathway will be open for our president general to be able to speak to us, to interact with us. So keep it, keep the, the vibes, keep the thoughts positive, keep the meditations positive. Keep the energies, channel the positive energies, brothers and sisters. And I'm confident that we will be hearing his voice sometime in the not too distant future. Tendai Mwari. Tendai Mwari. Go ahead, brother. You were was asking my question about what's, what, what are the primary obstacles to get into where Papa Gavi was, had brought us to get back to that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the primary obstacles uh, always are the, the forces of global white supremacy. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, diff it's a machination of infiltration and sabotage that it unleashes on uh, any African organization that shows the potential, that, that, that demonstrates the, the wherewithal to really empower and uplift our people and build powerful institutions, which is what the UNIA ACL um, was, uh, was doing. That is all be as a primary uh, challenge to our people. But also there is another challenge. Mm -hmm. There's a challenge that we, we might call, and many do refer to as the enemy within, mm -hmm. you know, where we imbibe some of the negativisms, when we imbibe some of the, uh, some of the, 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 the tendencies that result from us having been under oppression for so long, where we, where we begin to develop attitudes and dispositions that work against ourselves, yeah. where we, as a result of mental bondage, you know the saying that goes um, from Baba Issa Hilliard, mental bondage is invisible violence, formal physical slavery has ended, but mental slavery continues to this day. And he goes on to say, this slavery affects the minds of our people in some ways it's worse than physical slavery alone. That is to say the person who's in mental bondage will be self-contained. Not only will that person fail to challenge the beliefs and patterns of thought which control them, they will protect and defend these beliefs and patterns of thought virtually with their last dying effort. And, and so we are experiencing those kinds of afflictions. Right. And they work, they, all those uh, tendencies conspire to undermine our ability and, and our capacity to build on the legacy of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey. But we do, we do have, you know, um, elements such as the, the Nation of Islam that grew out of the foundation uh, that was laid by the UNIA ACL. Mm -hmm. We have the Rastafari movement that grew out of the same uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. The Black Power movement um, through uh, the eminent prophet and king, uh, Omowale Malcolm X, uh, was also a legacy, an mm -hmm. outgrowth 
of the UNIA ACL. Every positive movement that has evolved uh, since the, the founding of the UNIA ACL has been profoundly influenced right. by the, the UNIA ACL. What we need to do now is to harness um, all of this and to be holistic, bring everything together in an holistic um, organizing of ourselves as a global uh, government, you know, and to establish our own uh, institutions, national institutions, international institutions as the UNIA ACL under the, the, the stewardship of Papa Garvey mm -hmm. uh, did in, in its time. It can be done. It must be done. So, Robert, Tendai yeah, Mwari. So, so with, with all that you, that you just said in terms of the outgrowth mm. uh, of um, the out, organizations and movements that grew out of Papa Garvey, is how important is it to to rebuild the, the subject today is where's Garveyism going rebuilding the government when we say the government we're, we're referring to the government of the UNIA ACL mm. how Im, how important is it for us in this day and age to specifically re, rebuild that direct legacy of Papa Garvey in relation to the UNIA ACL or is it important does it matter if if we, it, we join the UNIA ACL or not or that we're just on the Garvey program in general it does matter it's profoundly important and and it, it matters tremendously because. This is the black print, the only black print, the template that we were given to liberate ourselves as a people. There is no other template that we have been given for the liberation of African people worldwide right. than the template that has been given, the black print that has been given by the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about Papa Garvey's legacy is that it went beyond theory. It went beyond words. He was a great, awesome speaker, mm -hmm. a brilliant writer, a brilliant uh, propagandist, if you will, because he understood the value of propaganda. He understood the value of media. So he created a media outlet that was the most effective um, in its day. So he was a man who commanded the power of the word, the spoken word, the written word. He had the charisma to uh, to attack to attract, to command the attention of our people, to mobilize and galvanize our people, but it did not stop there. Mm -hmm. Behind his every idea, behind his vision, was always a plan, was always a strategy to bring into physical reality uh, the, the ideas or the vision. And he demonstrated the tremendous possibilities that we had to make things happen. Mm -hmm. This was a great thing about uh, Papa Garvey. He made things happen. He brought things into being. He, you know, we had the, uh, the, the Negro World newspaper. We had the uh, Tendai Mwari. Tendai we had the, the Negro Factories uh, Corporation. Right. C Corporation. We had the Black Star Line Steam Shipping Company. Just imagine. Yeah. In 1919, not only did we establish a steam shipping company, but we bought ships. What about the, 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 you know, the Black Star Line steam shipping company owned four ships. The, a ship in those days would be equivalent to an aeroplane. In these days, just imagine you, we have a global organization, an African liberation, a nationalist pan-Africanist organization operating on a global level yeah. and have an airline. Well, what's that? Well, that's, that is the question. Already. The black what, airliner, for argument's sake. What, 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 with all the Garveyites and all the people mm -hmm. that have been inspired by the legacy of, of Papa Garvey, why don't we? What, 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 what is it about the level of productivity uh, of organizations and movements in this day and age uh, in comparison to 100 years ago that leaves such a disparity between what is being produced? Tendai Mwari. Well... <sighs> That's a big question. Mm -hmm. that, that is a, you know, that, that's a very, very big question. So much has happened yeah. since the passing of, uh, of Papa Garvey in 1940. So much has happened. You know, the, the so-called World War, which was really European War II, mm -hmm. started in 1939, the mm -hmm. year before Papa Garvey died. Yes. That also had an impact on the African world. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, we had the period of 
you could call it a world revolution that was taking place throughout the African world, mm-hmm. where African people were rising up and revolting um, you know, against systems of colonial oppression, mm-hmm. segregation in the United Snakes of America, and, and various other th- challenges, and various other battles that we were fighting um, through, throughout the, the world. But at, at every stage, you know, our oppressor who is well-organized, well-coordinated, well-resourced, who have studied us very, very well for the hundreds of years that they have had us under a system of oppression Mm -hmm. and have mastered certain techniques in terms of mind control of African people. And and we sometimes, you know, uh, it has to be said, you know, we, we sometimes lose the plot (laughs) as a people, you know, Uh, and, and, once, once we lost our focus on the, the black print, the template, the example of the most eminent prophet and king is excellent to Marcus Messiah Garvey and ceased to follow that pathway as, as, as we did over, over, many, over many years, then, you know, it, it, we lost the plot, mm-hmm. you know, and... As, this is why we always say within the El Kevlin Revivalist Movement, until we reignite, until we reestablish, until we reactivate, regenerate the ideas and the black print of the most eminent prophet and king is Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, we will never be a liberated people. Mm-hmm. We've got to understand that where we, where we veered away from his race first, self, his philosophy of race first, mm-hmm. self reliance, um, nationhood or nation building you know african spiritual orthodoxy those are the pillars of garveyism those are the pillars of the message of the most eminent prophet and king his excellency marcus messiah garvey and some of us moved away from that message you know um we took on marxism right and the various (laughs) expressions of marxism which is based on a european eurocentric work uh work uh, analysis of the the working class struggles yeah Mm -hmm. which is not the african resistance movement right and that created i think that's one of the elements that that threw us off course not the only one by any means but one of the elements that threw us off course so we we, um, so we we, we've we've dealt with with that with the the principle and the ideological okay all right let's see if we've got um our president general right now baba sengo are you there Yes, I am. Ah, finally. All right. We've got him. Mari. Hello. A lot of mercy. Low, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit low, but we've got him. I, 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 we can definitely hear him. So I, I'm sure our listeners will be able to. Listeners, do let us know if you can hear the President General. 07923334515 or 07399359641. That last number is a text number, Kings and Queens. The lines are not open quite yet. I don't know where we're going to open him now. Um, but um, do stay tuned, Kings and Queens. We're going to interact with our President General. President General, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you hear me clearly? We can hear you clearly, Baba Sengo. Thank you very much for being with us, and apologies uh, for not being able to get you through sooner uh, because of the technical uh, no, hitches. Yeah. No, no uh, issue. Mosiah, Mosiah lives. Garvey lives. Garvey, Garvey lives. lives. Mosiah lives. Garvey lives. I want to hear what Mita Bendaka. I've been listening, even though I got disconnected. Uh, I'm here listening to the show and his articulation of uh, some of the issues are uh, absolutely on point. I want to say uh, uh, greetings, Sendai Mawari, to uh, Brother Leader uh, Bendaka, the ambassador of the UK of the University of Negro Improvement Social Sacramento League, to Sister Kai, to Brother Shakara, to Mosiah Storm, and to all the Africans in Earshot. And everyone should know that they, that they are African descent. The Black Prep was established for all Africans, both South, East, and West, of the whole planet. I am so happy to be with you all today. And hopefully we won't, won't get disconnected again. <laughs> Baba Sengo, um, yeah, give thanks for that, Baba Sengo. You know, and, and it's 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 a pleasure to have you on the show. As I've said before, you haven't been in the in the UK since 2014, but you've joined us on Africa Speaks a few times, so we give thanks for that. Uh, we're gonna get right into it, Baba Sengo, because we're we're a little bit less. We have a little bit less time than we scheduled. Um, I'm gonna ask you off the back. Um, what are the main uh, priorities for the government of the UNIA ACL uh, at this moment in time? 
Well, actually, the UNIA was established as a global uh, government, sovereign government for African people in 1920, as most people should know uh, today. We are in the process of continuing the works of the right excellent honorable markets inside Gaza and establishing and tightening the government up for the 21st century. Because it is a fact that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, if we don't have a global black press designed to pull all of us together despite our minor differences, then we will not be able to uplift ourselves back to our traditional greatness. So today, the UNIA is establishing strong economic ways and means, and I will go into detail. Uh, we are happy to see uh, some of the resistance and the mobilization that's taking place around the world with many movements, but we also are very conscious to recognize that the, the onslaught and killing didn't just start uh, when we started capturing them, and we want to reach out to all those young people. We are having some success in bringing young people into the UNIA. We're working to raise their consciousness to understand that this is a long struggle that has to be done, and Africa must be free. So the UNIA has the same basic objective that it had when it was established. We understand that we don't have the same active numbers of paid due members. However, we see a lot of people who have been talking garbage and finally coming around to understand that we have to build uh, our own means of self-determination and self-reliance. So in short, the UNIA is very much alive and very much growing around the world. We are looking at Brazil now. Uh, certainly, uh, we have various barriers of uh, language barriers, but we want to break those by establishing brothers and sisters who speak different languages mm -hmm. to articulate the same message that Marcus Garvey brought us some time ago. All right. Baba Senghor, I, I'm aware of, um, of the celebrations for the, what, the, the, the centenary of Papa Garvey's arrival uh, to the USA taking place earlier this year and around that agenda those celebrations i know of two initiatives and maybe you could um expand upon these one is the federation of of of, of african caribbean restaurant owners um which i believe to be a unia uh initiative or connected to the unia and also i saw something in terms of farming and land i can't remember exactly where that was but maybe you could uh, expand upon that for us well, I'll take the first one and want you to repeat the second one. But the first one is to emulate what Marcus Garvey was successfully able to do in establishing an economic or global collaboration of building economic power for African people. What we've done is establish the Federation of African Caribbean American Restaurant Owners Association. Right. And this is not just for restaurant owners. We know that restaurants actually use more organic produce than any other people, so we're starting on that level. But it is a plan to build all the way from the bottom up, from the farmer, the farm, all the way back up to the restaurant owners, and to establish a ways and means to pull together economic development, not just uh, a, a, a group of people coming together to invest, but a group of brothers and sisters coming together to address the issues of food, security, transportation, mm -hmm. organization, and the same kind of model Garvey used uh, in the 1920s, but upgraded to the 21st century. We've had a lot of success with a lot of diverse, uh, very revolutionary groups coming together because our high chancellor has set a strong example of economic development by owning what is called Jamaica Breeze Restaurants in New York City. We have been spread out in Chicago, New York, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and other areas, and it's coming along well. So you're going to hear a lot more about that particular federation. All right. The Get second part, you need to repeat. You need to repeat the second part. Okay. It's, um, it's, I'm referring to the I Am Garvey Human Agricul Ag Agricultural Cooperative. Oh, well, the I Am Garvey Cooperative is established by one of our members that lives in Indiana, who has a vision of establishing a film on Marcus Garvey. And he's been working on that for some time. But he is only one out of many people that are in a group that we put together that is called Nature Culture. Right. A lot of brothers and sisters that are growing food in their own homes, like I have a garden in my yard. Okay. Brothers and sisters who have large patches of land and small patches of land. 
bringing them all together so that they know how to properly grow their food organically and to create the mere ways and means of distribution systems so that we can gain back control of our own food security. Okay. All right, uh, brothers. I'll just let you know, brothers and sisters, that there is a, there is some footage of the UNIA ACL celebrations for the 100th year anniversary of Papa Garvey's arrival in the United States, um, and there's some footage of brothers and sisters actually investing uh, in the Confederation of uh, of African Caribbean restaurants in New York, Kings and Queens. Very, very inspirational view, and do check that out. Do very much check that out, brother. Uh, YouTube. Yes, on YouTube. Yeah, you can you can check that out. Um, and the brothers and sisters there investing. Baba Sengo, um, in, in terms of, um, we, we spoke about the, um, the branches um, that have been developing all over the place. There are, and we understand that there are new branches on the African continent. Um, can you say where they are? Yes, uh, we're, we're in Senegal. We've been in Senegal for a while. Mm-hmm. We just broke ground in Ghana. Right. There's a whole lot of Garbiites all over Ghana, and we just established a division in Ghana. Okay. There's three divisions in Sierra Leone, uh, in some of the major countries in Bo, all of the major cities in Sierra Leone. Uh, we are in Liberia. Liberia has the strongest contingency of active members led by a brother named Jefferson, who has been working for some time and is very clear on Garbiism, and he's reconnected with us. So we actually have a division named after James R. Stewart, who was the President General after Marcus Garvey yes. in Liberia. So we're working very hard in the West Africa region to bring those regions together and to establish more ties to brothers and sisters all over the continent because many brothers and sisters want uh, self-determination and self-reliance, and they're tired of uh, being hoodwinked by various different ideological approaches that don't go anywhere to build sustainable development and provide food and security on the continent. That's what we're working on in building the division. All right, that's beautiful. I, am, am I am I correct in saying that there is some work afoot as far as Liberia is concerned to reacquire the land that was stolen from the UNIA? Well, actually, you know that's 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 a battle that has to be issued with Firestone. But uh, we have actual UNIA members who are moving on land issues in Liberia. Uh, in terms of uh, Firestone, Firestone is still there. Uh, they're still on uh, leasing that land. Uh, that's a battle that has to be addressed when we have sufficient power on the ground in right. the area and around the world. So uh, the answer to your question is no, we have not moved on that because it's going to take a lot of power to do that because actually uh, it's still a slavery plantation even though they've upgraded 20 years ago, they still are abusing and are misusing the land and our people. So the answer to your question is not exactly yet, but certainly the direction we're heading in is to uh, not only reclaim that land, yes. but to uh, build on whatever land we can, uh, uh, ways and means of uh, addressing some of the economic uh, downfall that came from the Ebola scare that took place in Liberia and other countries in West Africa. All right, give facts, Baba Sengo. For those who may not be aware what I'm referring to, uh, in in the in, when I said earlier on, when I asked Brother Lee there about the um, the Liberia program where fifty thousand dollars was sent to Liberia for industrial and, uh, and agricultural development, that land was eventually seized by the puppet regime that was in Liberia and handed over to the Firestone Rubber Company, uh, who still have ownership of that land to this day, kings and queens, um, and that really was what fueled uh, the automobile revolution that took place in the United States, understanding that they couldn't have that automobile revolution if they never had the rubber and that rubber came from africa most notably liberia and that land was actually scheduled to be for the unia acl if you want more information on that come through to our messiah session uh on tuesday the 30th of messiah uh where baba baba brother leader bandaka the uk ambassador will, will be breaking down scientific garveyism and the as the blackprint for nation building he'll be looking at papa garvey's program in africa and the caribbean kings and queens uh baba sengo um, we're, we're looking at um, uh, all of these issues here. We're just giving people a flavor right now of the work of the government of the UNIA ACL and, and, and that rebuilding process, yeah? Uh, and, the, and the specifics of that rebuilding process. One of the, the, the major issues and one of the things that we should have done at the, at the top of the show is uh, to send uh, condolences 
uh, and uh, and uh, vibes of ascendancy to the spirit of B- B- Dr. Sebi, who passed away uh, a couple of days ago. Yes. Um, and um, I'm, I'm first going to ask you about B- B- Dr. Sebi um, in terms of his influence on yourself and, and your understanding of his legacy. But I, I, and I'm going to bring that to back to a question in terms of the work that the UNIA ACO is doing in terms of health. So first of all, B- Baba Sengo, uh, first of all, as we always say in the Alchemical and Revivalist Movement, may, we, may he rise on the wings of my art after a favorable judgment in the Council of Asa. Can we hail B- 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 Dr. Sebi, please, from his brilliant work? That's a man that deserves... <laughs> That deserves our hailing, um, Baba Sengo. Um, what? Yeah. D- just, just, just speak to us about uh, Doctor Sebi from your perspective and his life and his legacy. Well, most people don't, should know Doctor Sebi was raised as a Garveyite by his grandparents, uh, and Doctor Sebi always talked about that. He spent a lot of time with the UNIA, uh, and we know Doctor Sebi very well, and we 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 are very saddened by his uh, physical transition. But it is very important for his legacy to continue. Uh, Dr. Sabi has spoke at many conventions of the UNIA. Dr. Sabi was a strong Garveyite. Uh, but Dr. Sabi was raised by women who were involved with the Black Cross nurseries. And a lot of people need to understand that Dr. Sabi was continuing that work. When Dr. Sabi first came to the United States, he came very sick. Uh, and he, he went to Mexico and he was trained by herbalists. And that's how Dr. Sabi was basically trained. So I will say to Dr. Sabi as he resurrects and rises that long live the legacy of Dr. Sabi. Dr. Sabi was very close to us, uh, and, 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 and we really miss him. And uh, we suspect foul play, but we don't know all the details. Yes. Uh, we do know that he was arrested several times uh, for, for traveling with a large amount of cash. Uh, we do know he was arrested a second time after being bailed out, and we don't know all the details about uh, what was going on, but uh, the reality is we're investigating. Uh, he was very close to our Minister of uh, Industries and Labor, uh, just like Brother Ando was, and many of the health practitioners that have done great work. But we must continue to carry out his legacy. He leaves us 17 children. Uh, a very Wait, say that again, I was saying 17, yeah? 17 children. Wow. And a lot of different wives and a lot of different people who handle product. So we want to make sure that we hold his legacy in the light and that his product can continue to roll. And I know he will be a strong uh, ancestral uh, energy in the whirlwind with the right action of Marcus Messiah Garvey. Mm, give, give thanks for that, Baba Senghor. You, you knew him personally, correct? I knew Dr. Savey for over 30 years. Yeah, okay. Um, th- this, th- give the listeners a... Cause when, when you, he's, he's, a he's a very interesting character, yeah, <laughs> when, you, when you hear him speak. So th- on a personal note, just g- please give the listeners a, an idea of the kind of man that he was personally. Well, Savey was a no-nonsense person. He, t- he came <laughs> straight up from the, from the grassroots. I mean, he didn't go to school or none of that. Yeah. And, uh, he, he was very blunt and very straightforward, uh, and he was very clear that uh, African people needed to do more investigation and to come away from the medical uh, uh, onslaught that's taking place with African people. So in short, I would just say, as Sabi would say, is uh, you got to really get back to your African roots and start eating the proper foods that uh, Africans uh, are naturally uh, 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 created to eat. Uh, I'll leave it at that because uh, his legacy is so big uh, it's, it's, it's very hard to cover in a short period of time. Yes. But, uh, Dr. Sabi was a no-nonsense Garveyite. Uh, he, he, uh, he, he, he definitely took on the uh, government here around the issue of saying that he could cure AIDS, and he successfully won that battle. Mm-hmm. So he did have a lot of people out there that didn't particularly like the fact that he took on uh, the establishment and won. All right. Thank you for that, Baba Sengo. And now, in, in, in relation to that particular question and the legacy of Baba, Dr. Sebi, I know that the UNIA and certain members of the UNIA, Brother Heru comes to mind, uh, are doing specific work in the area of health. Um, can you speak on that for us a little bit, please? Yeah, Brother, brother Heru, for I like to call him my spiritual son. He's one of our ambassadors of sustainable development. As you know, he's a great artist. Yes. Uh, but he also is a, is a sustainable development expert. 
Uh, he's created uh, a, a formula called uh, with a, a strong extract called Olive Leaf Extract that's helping people all over the world. Uh, he's uh, importing his olive leaves from Egypt, and that particular product is rolling. But Brother Aru is also a purchaser of land, and he also is the one who lectures on sustainable development. And Brother Haru Foray Asha is somebody who uh, was born in Ghana, raised in Chicago, and is a very, very hard hitter. Uh, I, I definitely look up to him uh, as one of the most powerful functional Pan-Africanists on the planet. Okay. Interesting. And that, that term that you use there, functional Pan-Africanist, that's, that's a very important term. Earlier in the year, we had a show, um, and we're probably going to do one later this month as well, on the concept of practical Pan-Africanism. So that, that sounds uh, very interesting. There are, there are some companies associated with the UNIA ACL in, in the area of health, Baba Sengo. What, what, can you give our listeners uh, some information about these companies? You say, yeah, could you say that again? There, there are some companies, I, I understand, associated with the UNIA ACL in the area of health. Well, yes, quite a few. Uh, you know, but, but, more, but most importantly, well, what I would try to direct people to is uh, some young brothers and sisters uh, with a group called uh, uh, Biden365.org. Right. Uh, what they're doing is pulling together a lot of health practitioners and a lot of uh, revolutionaries, and they've studied the history. Uh, that's one of the most powerful uh, online groups that I would recommend people to check out. Say the website again, please. Young brothers and sisters. Sorry, Baba Sengo. Rip, rip. Buy black, buy black 365org Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Now, my queen, Kathy English Hope, is the ambassador of health and wellness. So one of the things that we're working on is teaching our young children the importance of growing food, the importance of health and wellness. Uh, I actually teach nutrition classes. So we have a lot of health and wellness people that we have been uh, on the continent as well as here that we've been working with closely. But it is important to raise our people's consciousness that we are not only being killed, gunned down in the street, but we're being poisoned through the food through companies like Masato. So we are definitely open to interface with anybody dealing with the issues of health and wellness. All right. And many of our UNIA members are involved with health and wellness, like myself. Uh, we want to deal with the issues like Dr. Francis S. Welsing, uh, mental health, because uh, Dr. Welsing is, is a giant with addressing the issue of the sickness of white supremacy yes. that is run so rampant in our own people. So we're not just sick physically, we're sick mentally, emotionally, and most of all, spiritually, because we have spiritual power. I like to call it black tricity. Yes. rise to the occasion to heal our own selves and to heal the whole planet. Yes. And unless we become conscious of the reality that it's not about an individual, it is about collective work and responsibility, then we will miss it. Because uh, Dr. Ando and Dr. Sabi, for an example, never really work together. So what we're striving to all of our health practitioners is it's critical. The African Holistic Health Association, uh, Brother Kokaya Patterson, who's an acupuncturist who worked with Matula Shakur okay. here in Washington, D.C. We just had an issue with him in court today. So there's a lot of things going on around the health and wellness area. But certainly that is critical towards the 21st century. Give thanks for that, Baba Sengo. I'm going to ask you... Two more questions, then we're going to open up the lines, okay? Um, one is, um, I understand the UNIA ACL has a Minister of Education. Is there any specific work taking place in the field of education that our brothers and sisters need to know about? Well, actually, everyone should be studying the course of African philosophy by Marcus Garvey. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, in terms of education, it is critical. Our former education, uh, uh, Minister of Education, is a special representative to political prisoners and prisoners of war. Okay. Sabia Hadass. Right. Our current Minister of, of, of Education has only been back with us for a few years. Right. Uh, Brother Shaka Barak. Yes. And uh, we're working very hard to see just how Shaka wants to move, because as you probably are aware, uh, he's actually put in his hat to run for President General. Yes, sir. At this point in stage, the, 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 the education area is something we say should be all out. Uh, we support independent education, homeschooling, uh, and, and Saturday schools and after-school programs because many of the public school systems and private school systems are not going to provide the, the kind of conscious-raising education that we as Africans got to provide for our own children. 
So whether it's independent education or after school programs, we encourage all people. Now, we do have a school uh, in Atlanta that's a private school where all the members, and it's on private land, uh, it's called the Pearl Academy. And all the, 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 the Academy, Baba Senghor? The members of the U- Sorry, sorry, Baba Senghor. Please, please repeat the name. Pearl Academy in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, give thanks. It's an institute. It's a private school that's educating our young brothers and sisters, and all of those young brothers and sisters are active members of the UNIA. Many of them just came back for one week in Cuba. Right. So we have the models that can be emulated around the world. Right. Ross Marvin is one of the instructors there at Pearl Academy, and they actually have land, and they actually grow their own food. They're actually dealing with science for excellence, and they are excellent, excellent Garveyites that will grow up uh, to be some of the best leaders that we could possibly have. And there are various other brothers and sisters doing great work with independent education. Yes, but brothers and sisters, you heard it here. The UNIA has a school that, that's operating on its own land and growing its own food, kings and queens. This is beautiful stuff. These are the aspects of African organizing and things that um, organizations and governments of the UNIA ACL are doing that we don't hear about often enough. So it's a pleasure for us to have our president general to lay on the line for us uh, in today, kings and queens. Lastly, Baba Senghor, I'll be, I'm, I'm going to hand you over to Mama Kai. Okay. Um, last time I was saying, go. We are gonna. Uh, uh, um, we did mention the fact that the 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 international convention is is approaching. Um, if you could give our listeners that we know that some aspects of it will be public and some aspects of it will be private. In terms of the the, the, the public facing aspects, uh, what can our listeners look out for in terms of uh, the the international convention coming up later this month? No. All, all of the all of these sessions, the private sessions, will be held at Simotep, which is a very serious institution in New York City. Yes. Uh, the speakers that we have for all the public events are brothers and sisters who are actually bringing their people to us. Uh, we have a lot of energy that's open to the public. And uh, Queens, uh, New York, our Division 432 is one of the most rapidly growing UNIA divisions in the world. Yes. Uh, led by Brother Michael Duncan, who actually set up the division in Liberia. Right. Michael Duncan hails from Jamaica, and Michael Duncan is the owner of the uh, Jamaica Breeze Restaurants in New York City, and he's our high chancellor. And his vice president is Raymond Duque, who is from Haiti and is our ambassador of Haiti. So look forward to a lot going on in New York. Also, they partnered with Marimba Ami, and they're rebuilding Garvey UNIA in Harlem, New York. Yes. So we have Harlem, New York, Brooklyn, New York, and Queens, New York. Okay. We're not excluding the Bronx because brothers and sisters in New York are coming back into Garveyism like never before. Yes. And uh, uh, you can look out to hear a whole lot coming out of our convention of, of, of interstation that we're doing with various different other groups like us lifting us. Uh, I, I would be remiss if I did not mention the uh, uh, collective black people's movement. Right. Uh, you can go to cbpm.org. Uh, great work is being done to pull our brothers and sisters together and to introduce and reintroduce them to the UNIA black print. Okay. Uh, I, I do want to send a, a, a shout out to a brother who I've never met, but he's very active on social media in terms of promoting and projecting Papa Garvey. He's a young brother by the name of Tyrone Taylor, um, who I believe is a member of the Queen's Division. Yes. Yeah. He's a very powerful young brother. Uh, there's quite a few uh, powerful young brothers and sisters that we know that the world is going to hear from. Uh, one of the things that's going on, uh, brother, that I really want to address, like uh, with this whole uh, resistance and mobilization that's taking place, is a lot of brothers and sisters are flying the red, black, and green. So that is sort of like an opening of Garveyism coming back. But they have to be re-educated to understand that that's not a liberation flag. It is an African government flag of the UNIACL government of the world. And it is very important for young brothers and sisters holding up the RBG to recognize that Marcus Garvey and, and, and our ancestors understand clearly the importance of us having our own flag with our government. And you should not just uh, uh, address the flag on August the 13th when we're celebrating that, but you should address the whole Declaration of Rights of African people of the world.
Sorry, once again, kings and queens, um, we're just um, going to open up the lies now. You've got just under half an hour to interact with the President General of the UNIA uh, ACL, kings and queens. Get in right now, 07 523 Ask him anything you want. Ask him, kings and queens. Ask him about the program of the UNIA ACL. Ask him about the upcoming the prospects for africans in the world um in in light of the donald trump versus hillary clinton presidential ca- campaign kings and queens zero seven three nine nine three five nine six one four we are also receiving your texts, kings and queens on that number I, I i understand that we have a lot a number of international listeners this evening kings and queens so do add the international uh codes before those numbers i don't can't tell you off a call from where you're there you know so you have to fight figure that out for yourself zero seven nine two three double three four five one five alternatively zero seven three nine nine three five nine six one four baba sengo we we um we were we were blessed to meet a brother Ankh Aku over here recently. Um, oh, great, great! Yeah, we met him over here, and it was interesting because we met the brother. Basically, he works with another one of our brothers who runs the station of a, 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 a media platform called Got Kush TV. And as you know, brother Ankh Aku deals with guerrilla marketing. Um, and so we I introduced him to brother Leader, and he immediately pulled out his um. His his UNIA ACL membership card. <laughs> you said brother Ankh? Yeah, brother. He was he was here at the beginning of the month, brother Ankh Aku. Yeah, yeah, brother Ankh is a very well. Brother Haru introduced me to brother Ankh some time ago. Brother Ankh is a very very powerful brother. Yes, he is. And, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hail him up right away <laughs> because uh, he's been doing a lot of work with brother Keedy, and uh, that's another powerful brother. Yes, sir. So, there's quite a bit of interfacing that is going on. Uh, one of the things uh, that the Barack administration of eight years has done, uh, because, you know, many of us who understood that uh, Barack was symbol was all symbol and not substance, uh, we recognize that it's helped pull together African brothers and sisters of consciousness closer together despite minor differences. But Brother Ankh is not one of those brothers, and neither is Brother Keedy, but I'm just saying that it is important for us to collaborate, consolidate, and raise consciousness. Despite our minor differences, we have far more in common, and it is critical for us to raise them. You know, like our word, black tricity. We have to connect with our black tricity to really understand Mahat. And yes, sir. Personality, because that's where we have an ability to resurrect all of what our great ancestors have laid down for us. Give thanks for that, Baba Sengwa. Zero seven. Uh, nine two three double three four five one five kings and queens. That's the number to call in. Alternatively, zero seven three nine nine three five nine six one four. You can also text in on that last number there, kings and queens. Uh, we're speaking to the president general of the UNIA ACL, uh, Baba Sengo Jawara Baye Tendamwari. Tendamwari. Um, brother Shakar, just want to read um a quick. Notice it says Tendamari. The Pan African Society Community Forum is holding its 11th annual IT Revolution Memorial Lecture on Sunday, the 14th of Messiah, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, the, at the Ma'at Mama At Cultural Center, 366A High Road, Tottenham. Lecturer, Sister Professor Bayina Bello via live stream from Haiti. Okay, the theme is a congress in the woods known as the Bois. Kaiman ceremony and its relevance to the African situation today. Mm-hmm. Um, there will be Haiti and Af- an African drumming, um, libation by Professor Gus John. This is a free event, however, donations are welcome. Delicious Haiti and Caribbean food, um, past lecture DVDs, etc., will be available for purchase. Um, Tendamwari. Tendamwari. And that's from Brother Mario of what is it? UHUK, Tendamwari. No, well, more Jack the First, yeah, the, the Jack the First movement. He, he, okay. he, he's he's, he's uh, the, the founder of. All right, Tendamwari, brothers and sisters, 07923 Alternatively, 07399 Baba Sengo, anybody listening? Yeah, 
Um, anybody listening right now that might be interested in starting a branch of the UNIA, what's the process? How do they go about that? Well, first they have to have seven conscious Africans, and if they're in the UK, they need to get in contact with Brother Leader Bendaka, who is, who is my official representative in the UK. Yes, sir. Anywhere else in the world, they can email uh, me directly, and I will I will direct them to the area that they need to go in uh, if they want to establish a chapter or a division in their area. If they uh, don't have seven members, they can contact uh, Harambe Radio dot com or dot com, and and we can accommodate them wherever they are in the world. Uh, Renoko Rashid is in that division, and so am I. So there's no excuses for brothers and sisters anywhere because they can reconnect. The brothers and sisters listening in the UK anywhere should contact Brother Leader Bendaka, and he will uh, give them the kind of uh, information that they are required to have to charter, and we can send that information to us, and we will interview it, uh, investigate the seven people applying for the charter, and and move on it ASAP. Uh, We need divisions and and active members all over the world. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, give thanks, Baba Sengo. Um, I'm going to ask you now spe- about um, some of the things that we that we know about and we speak about. Yeah, when you know the, the most the most notable features of the Garvey movement of yesteryear in the time of Papa Garvey himself, uh, and where we are at, or w- w- what what is the process of kind of either reactivating or maybe they're, they're reactivated already. You know what I'm saying? Where are we at with, the, with some of these things? So when we speak about Papa Garvey, one of the things that we know about is the African legionnaires. Um, do we have an African legionnaires? Is there a plan to reinstitute an African legionnaires? Under Marcus Garvey Jr., we, we have decided in Montreal, Canada, that for, for, for conscious reasons and secure reasons, that we want everyone to think security. Uh, when it's time for us to... Uh, reactivate uh, our legionnaires, we have to be strong enough to address the issues that we will be confronted with. Yes. The policy of the UNIA is security, and we do have security forces. Uh, we recommend that brothers and sisters who want to move into a direction of security think about martial arts, think about uh, 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 science par excellence, because it is no joke when you start talking about security. we got brothers and sisters uh, about a yin-yang of all ages dying in the streets and sisters being raped and still robbed and mothers being killed. So until we can protect our mothers and children, we don't have a right to jump up and say we got uh, uh, ready to do a, 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 a reactivation of the Legionnaires. However, yes. however the reality is uh, the issue of the Legionnaires was security. Yes. Uh, there's nothing wrong with us having the right of self-determination and securing ourselves. But we have a lot of brothers and sisters wearing paramilitary outfits that uh, I would not uh, uh, necessarily say that I would like to be in a fight with them because <laughs> they haven't proven, been proven and tested. Yes. However, they can come to us and we can address those issues in private and see what we can do to uh, aid and assist them uh, with some expert uh, military science and science for excellence. All right, beautiful. And and what the other most notable, uh, what is known as probably the most active auxiliary of uh, the UNIA ACO, which is the Black Cross nurses. Yeah, that is absolutely critical. The Black Cross nurses have been reactivated. Uh, they are there are currently uh, various different Black Cross nurses in division. However, once again, we are so on the bottom of the rung of health and wellness. We want everybody to think in terms of health and wellness. Also, when you say Black Cross nurses, we have an ambassador. Uh, most people have not heard his name, but he's as powerful as Amos Wilson. His name is Dr. Amanifu Harvey, who deals with social science. He just traveled with us to Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. And we have a whole lot of, uh, of, of social services that must be tied to health and wellness, because as I said earlier, we are in a, a serious mental state of illness, yes. serious social uh, uh, problems that we have to confront. Science by excellence. We highly recommend the book Black Power by Amos Wilson for everybody to read and understand that uh, until we can gain control of our social uh, services and our economic destiny, that we will not be in the position to really build the kind of nations on the continent of Africa or anywhere in the world 
that are required for us in the 21st century. Mm. 07923334515 Kings and Queens. That's the hotline to get through and speak to our President General. Also, alternatively, 07399. 359614 call in or text in uh, on that number Baba Sengo w- 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 you, you've mentioned some names right there and obviously it's important that our people know the names of the, of, of the brothers and sisters who make up this government uh, and who are fighting on our behalf so just uh, in brief um, if you could let our listeners know of some of the notable names coming out of the government of the UNIA ACO that they, that they need to be looking out for in terms of their work and their efforts on behalf of our people. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to start with the ambassadors because one of, one of the important reasons of the ambassadors are brothers and sisters that have 20 or 30 or more years of experience of doing the work. We just don't, I just don't appoint ambassadors. Or we don't just appoint ambassadors just because we know that they are capable of doing the work. We know that they have track records. Yes. Like Brother Lita Bendaka, like Brother Renoko Rashidi, like Tony Browder, like uh, Marimba Ani, like Bilal Sunni Ali, like uh, uh, Kathy English Hope, uh, Sister uh, uh, Pepe, Rosie Park, all and Brother Heru of Forai Asa. Uh, all of these ambassadors are capable and have proven themselves, even before they were in the UNIA, of building because you know all Africans are you and I anyway, but we know that all of those ambassadors have a proven track record of work being to uplift our people. So that's very important. Then we have the first assistant president general, Brother Kilian Kuma, who has been in the UNIA over forty years. We have the second assistant president general, Sister Sewa Nkuma, who has been in the UNIA for over forty years. We have uh, the third assistant president general position is currently vacant. We have the fourth assistant president general, Sister Basima Mohammed Bey, uh, who is head of the Black Cross Nurses. Then we have uh, uh, the minister of uh, information, Brother Zama Cook. We have the special representative to political prisoners, Brother Kabir Abdas. We have Brother Sababu Nkrumah, who is head of chief of protocol and also a commissioner. We have Commissioner Ross Marvin of Atlanta, Georgia, a very powerful roster man out of Jamaica who has, who has come the same trail as Marcus Garvey. We have presidents of divisions that are very powerful, uh, Baba Mosi that comes out of Guyana. And that's another thing I want to say to you is that many of our leaders of organization of the UNIA division actually come from other regions in the Caribbean, like Trinidad, Jamaica, uh, Guyana, uh, and also... We have a uh, sister, uh, uh, you know, Afiang Afiang, who is an active member of the Philadelphia division, but she's currently in Africa. Yes, she, she's 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 very well known to us over here, you know, Sister Afiang. She's, she's a stalwart of the African community over here. That, that she speaks highly of you all. And, you know, it's so important for us to recognize that all of these names I've mentioned are brothers and sisters who have been around for a long time and have a strong commitment you know, of, of, of consistency. Uh, one of the most important issues, though, is for us not to get caught in the cult of the individual, not myself or any of us. Mm-hmm. Any of us are, 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 are liable to the collective of the African race. We are obedient servants. Leadership does not mean that you have uh, a, 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 a great wealth or, 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 or great uh, 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 financial status. It means that you can get on the ground. Like, I go to demonstrations myself, and a lot of us need to get on the ground with some of these young brothers and sisters that are resisting and mobilizing because we did the same thing. But we also got to direct them more towards self-reliance, self-determination, and building something for ourselves and stop depending on the system that is corrupt to change. Yes, sir. We have to build our own systems. We have to change the paradigm. We have to come out of the box and build our own ways and means. And in Africa is a perfect example. The the leadership of the countries in Africa is deplorable. If you see the people are suffering, then that means the leadership is problematic. So leadership to us means pain, blood, and death. It doesn't mean a Mercedes Benz and air conditioning when you have brothers and sisters that are hungry, starving, and don't have a just place to live and are also under onslaught of the system of white supremacy and media colonialism. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, Baba Sengo. Thank, thank you for that. And it's, it's, it's important that we're getting a lot of this information over the years today. I, I, I want to ask you about one of the hot issues that has galvanized uh, the African community over here. And that is, um, first, well, two issues, really. First of all, is, is black deaths in custody, um, uh, especially as uh, addressed through what is loosely and specifically known as the Black Lives Matter movement uh, and, and the reparations movement. And reparations, yeah, um, reparations. Bob, Baba Singo. Well, the human eye is always how reparations and repatriation. Uh, we support that on every level. We work with the National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations. Uh, we are involved with interfacing with other brothers and sisters who have uh, issues around the issue of reparations around the world. So the UNI is strong on that, and we support that. Uh, we understand that uh, there's, there's, there's moves afloat to, uh, to, uh, with, uh, uh, to exonerate Marcus Garvey's name. Uh, on August the 17th, there will be a big press conference here in Washington, D.C., addressing that issue, uh, putting pressure on Barack Obama. However, the UNIA wants to uh, know that we've already exonerated Garvey, so he's never committed any crime. But we will fight uh, in terms of the, uh, uh, the resistance movements and mobilization that's taking place all over the world. We're happy to see that. But we want our brothers and sisters to understand We've been knocking on the door of the presser to ask for change for too long. It is time for us to be the change we're looking for and to organize with groups who have a history of consistency of mobilizing real organization and real uh, moves for power because we know power will never concede to power without a demand. Yes, sir. We must build in numbers. That is the most important thing that we see happening. With the various different uh, killings and murders that are taking place all around the world, as I said earlier, it's not new. Uh, we're seeing it more now because of technology. Uh, we're happy to see people angry about it, but we want them to transfer that anger into some kind of concrete action to do something of significance to stop the murdering and the killing and to also move forward to not only put pressure on the system of exploitation, but to build our own system of protection. That is extremely important to protect ourselves from the attacks that are taking place. Yes, sir. Um, Baba Sengwa, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question that I know a lot of people have asked um, us as our cable line, and it's a, it's a question that is, uh, you know, often um, s spoken about in the African community UK, yeah? And I, I'm not putting this on you specifically, but this is something that uh, I, sh I think I should probably put to you on behalf of the African community in the UK. Now, in relation to um, the fact that we, we love to connect with our brothers and sisters from the States um, and have them come over and them kind of things there. And more and more, we're trying to, as, as uh, our Kevin and our ambassador to get him over to the States to, um, to, to connect with the UNIA ACL even more. Uh, but the question that is always asked by Africans in the UK is why don't our brothers and sisters in the States bring us over as much <laughs> as we bring them over, so to speak? I don't know what you can say to that, just to, to appease the, 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 the minds and the souls of our sisters and brothers in the UK. Okay, I didn't quite understand your, 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 your question. Would you, would, you, would you like me to repeat it? Could you repeat that? I, I didn't quite understand. Okay, ba basically, what th th there's a there is an often spoken about uh, issue, yeah, in the African community in the UK, uh, which says that we often bring our brothers and sisters over from the states, yeah, to connect with them. Uh, to hear oh, to hear them speak, oh, yes. but in terms of the reciprocity, in terms of you know um, us being able to connect on their shows, they don't seem to bring us over to the states, brother B Baba Sengo. So, what can you say to the African community, UK? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. I got you, and that's something on my agenda. Uh, it is very, very important that we reconnect that way because uh, not enough, not enough going back and forth is taking place. Uh, one, one thing one thing that happens here with uh, our brothers and sisters in the state is that uh, there's, there's not there's not enough uh, real practical functional unity and a not enough economic power but certainly that is on my radar uh, and, if, and should I be blessed to be elected again we want to change that there have been some brothers and sisters that have been brought over from Africa and vice versa 
Yeah. But we do have to work more on that kind of uh, movement back and forth because there is one movement that has to be created, and that's a global movement. Our brothers and sisters in Brazil are catching more hell than you can imagine. Of course, brothers and sisters on the continent. But every 23 minutes, an African in South America is murdered. And nobody says anything. That's, that's every 23 minutes. And the majority of Africans in the live in South America, not North America. So we have that, that, that intercontinental connection that must be worked on. And so that's one of the projects of the UNIA in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Before 2020 and the centennial of the Great Convention, we have to address that issue of how do we begin economically to bring brothers and sisters from one region to another region to educate brothers and sisters on what they are experiencing so we can interconnect the global unification that must take place. Yes, Baba Singo. Thank you very much for that. And we, we, we look forward to, 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 to the developments on that front. We have a caller on the line, uh, Brother Anika. Tenamar. Tenamar, Brother Anika. I think you need to turn your radio down. Uh, my radio is not. Okay. My apologies. Go ahead. Um, yeah, my question. Well, uh, first and foremost, thanks um, to Africa Speaks for having the President General on uh, Galaxy Radio again. Um, and it'll be hope, hopefully he'll be over in this country not too long. Um, you know, it's been a it's been a little while, not too long, but it's been a little while since we've seen him. And it's always a pleasure um, to be in Baba Sengo's presence. I only tuned in um, very late, so excuse me if this point was uh, mentioned or raised earlier. Um, my question is to Baba Sengo. In terms of um, what Brother Shakara spoke about in terms of the the police brutality and the death in um, police custody in the U.S. Um, obviously, we know what happens over here as well. But I want to know what... Obviously, we know that the UNIA has a policy on it um, in terms of defending ourselves as a nation. Um, the African Legionnaires that Papa Gavi started was a part of that process. But what work is the UNIA doing in the community... Um, in terms of uh, community policing and basically defending ourselves against um, the state, are they are we are we you know, recruiting members to defend us against police brutality or training people in in the different um, martial arts or anything like that? What work are the UNIA doing in that regard? Ten and why? Why give us that, Reverend Nika? Baba Sengo, did you hear that question? No, I need to repeat it, man. I didn't need a question. No, that's fine. Um, what Brother Anika was asking in relation to the issue of police brutality, does the UNIA have a policy or a program for galvanizing the people for community defense in terms of either uh, uh, self-defense training, martial arts? I don't know if he said this, but um, it, uh, it would apply to the American context in terms of weapons training, that kind of thing. Yes. Well, absolutely. Here, here's what's happening with here's what's happening with various divisions here. And let's take let's take Chirac, Chicago, for an example. There are brothers and sisters in our divisions in Chicago who go on the streets, door to door, organizing the community and organizing young people. At the same time, they clean up the community. Most of the time, we turn on the news. All we hear about is the, is the negative things. You don't hear about the positive interactions that have taken place and the raise of consciousness amongst young brothers and sisters who are tired of being shot down in the street. So the answer to the question is many of our divisions are interacting in the community to not only provide the information that youth need to understand yeah. that they actually would be murdered, uh, but also to police the communities themselves. Right. Uh, that is That is taking place. But at the same token, you're not going to hear that on the mainline news. Uh, but the reality is that w w there are brothers and sisters that are, are, are making headway with reaching brothers and sisters who are, are, are subject to being gunned down in the streets. And the change is, is happening. It's not happening as fast as we would like to see it happen. Right. But yes, in terms of martial arts, we have a lot of brothers and sisters that are training in the area of martial arts. We have tons of groups in Chicago and New York who go out on the streets 
and try to redirect the brothers and sisters' energy uh, to protect themselves against the police. What you will find is that it's a whiteout in the media about anything of significance that's bringing positive change. And what I will say to you, brothers and sisters, is it's not just our brothers and sisters acting out. Chicago, for the last 20 to 30 years, they don't even have gun shops in Chicago. And, and the rate in Chicago, and I'm trying to just give you an example of what we're up against. They literally drop guns and ammunition in the alleys in Chicago. Right. You have to understand that this is, a, this is an organized system of what we call forcing us to self-destruction. Because there are no jobs. There are no ways and means. And that is why we have to build our own systems that can create not only jobs, but employment, lifetime employment, so that we can encourage young people not to move in the direction of self-destruction and to move more in the direction of construction and building their character. Schools have let our youth down. The social systems are designed to let us down. Anything that comes from a system of white supremacy is designed to kill us. Yes, sir. But we have to understand that until we get to a position of power, we're going to continue to see blood run. It's a sad thing, but it's a reality that in, in, in Africa and Brazil, tons of Africans die. So, of course, black lives matter. The reality is not an issue of saying black lives matter. It's making your black life matter. Mm. That is the issue. Yes, sir. Thank you, Baba Sengo. We're basically at the end of our show. We're going to do a little bit of overtime because our, our following presenter is not quite arrived yet. So, um, um, but I, what I want to give you the opportunity, what I want to do is give Brother Leader to, uh, the opportunity to interact with you uh, before we have to close the show. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Brother Leader Bandaka, you've, you've heard from our President General uh, breaking down the current program of the UNIA. Um, yeah, what, 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 what's, what's your initial thoughts and feelings, Brother Leader, on, on hearing our President General? Well, Tendai Mwari, Gabi yeah. lives. Gabi lives. Mazaya lives. Mazaya lives. Tendai my brother. Tendai Mwari. Tendai Mwari. It, it's so great to hear your voice, uh, Baba Sengo Baye. You know, you sound as though you're, my you're carrying the spirit of some very powerful ancestors with you, and not least the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Mazaya Gavi. So we give thanks and we give praises uh, at this moment that we were able to hear the voice or we have been able to hear the voice of Baba Sengobaye on the airways despite the technical hitches that we had earlier on. And we give thanks for the, the powerful inspirational insight that you have given us, uh, Baba Sengobaye, not only in terms of the range of programs that are in operation within the UNIA ACL, but the, the development that's taking place, the, the way that the movement is spreading and um, membership is growing within the movement, not only in the United States, but also on the African continent, in the Caribbean, and certainly we, we have growth taking place here as well. Uh, we give thanks and praises for all of that, uh, Baba Sengobai, and we give thanks uh, for your energies, you know, your, your powerful energies, the power of love that you have for our people that you bring to the work that you, have do that you are doing uh, in the seat of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Mazaya Gavi. Brothers and sisters, we've been blessed this evening, and I hope we realize how blessed we, we have been this evening. And, you know, I'm really touched, Baba Sengobaye, and moved by the analysis that you have given us in terms of the challenges that face our people right now in the United States of America and the wanton slaying of our young people, in particular our young men, on the streets of America by the state, you know, and the, the, you know, the lack of uh, capacity that we're demonstrating presently to protect our young people. You know, the analysis that you, you have given in terms of the challenges that face uh, our young people presently with regards to the high level of unemployment, you know, the challenges that, that our young people are facing, our young people are being, um, are being undermined, their capacities are being undermined, and it just, it just underlines the 
the work that we have to do to, to bring back to the fore, to revive the black print of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, who amongst other things built industries, built industries so that we can employ the labor of our people. We can put our people in gainful employment. We can put our people uh, in, uh, in situations where we can run our own services. We can build our own industries. And it's just good to know that the UNIA ACL is on that road and is, is working towards reviving those very important elements. You talked about health uh, programs. You talked about social welfare programs. You talked about educational programs. Uh, you talked about economic uh, programs. You talked about farming. And, uh, you know, the, 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 there was reference also to the, um, <clears throat> to the, to the farming, the, the, the farming and, and land program. Yes, mm -hmm. and the Federation of African Caribbean Restaurants. Mm -hmm. You know, all all of those are very important and vital uh, economic programs and institutions that are that, that are developing. And we just give thanks and praises for all those who are working. All the names that you've called, uh, too many to repeat, Baba Singo, but all those you know, wonderful brothers and sisters who are working on the ground, the sisters who are leading the Black Cross nurses and bringing that back. Um, to life, and we hope that it won't be too long before we will have the wherewithal, before we will have the the resources and the capacity to revive the universal African lesions, because we we, we need yes. um, that institution badly, uh, even as we speak, Baba Singo. What do you say to that, Tenai Mwari? Yes, Tenai Mwari, my brother, you're absolutely you're absolutely on point, brother. It is critical for us to reestablish uh, the Warning, black do not enter this game if you for our brothers and sisters. And it's very, very important for us to do it quickly because uh, it, it's a reality. Uh, Trump and Hillary, for an example, uh, are, are enough to wake our brothers and sisters up to the reality that we must get busy moving ASAP uh, to establish the black print and functionality. So the UNIA is working to revamp our constitution, to revamp our leadership, and to grow in numbers, and to educate our young brothers and sisters into true Garveyism. Because it's true, no matter whether or not you're Rastafari, whether or not you're uh, 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 Yoruba, whether or not you're Archon, whether or not you're uh, uh, Hebrew, whether or not you're with the Nation of Islam or wherever you are, we're calling you back home to the black print of the right, excellent, honorable Marcus Mosai Garvey. In the 21st century, it's critical that we rebuild before 2020 the same model that was built in 1920 where we can have an impact on Africa and Africans all over the world. And it can be done. We gotta be we gotta be ready to love one another from an African perspective. Set aside our petty differences. And it's nothing that we cannot achieve. Marcus Garvey was correct. He says he is not getting recognized and we will become an exterminator. And that's the real Garvey was absolutely correct. And we are seeing that we pull our eyes. So let us not let our children, our women, and generations that will come behind us. And say, oh, you can be great. We can accomplish what we will. Um, all right, Baba Sengo, we, we've come to the end of our show. Um, and we're going to hand over to Brother SG5, who is just arriving. Um, but we just want to say that we wish you well in um, your, your campaign for your, your, your third term as uh, President General Baba Sengo. And we look forward to, join, to, to bringing you um, and other members of the UNIA ACL together um, here so that we can you know, contribute to the growth and development of the UNIA ACL on these shores uh, even more. And Tendai Mwari, just to say Baba Sengo, you know we are going to continue to do our very best to spread the word 
to let our brothers and sisters know not only of the legacy of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey, in his time, but also the work that, that you and others are continuing to do. We're going to raise the consciousness of our people and mobilize our people to get behind the agenda and get behind the vision and mission of the UNIA uh, ACL. Giving thanks and praises is wonderful. It's a great blessing. To, to have had your voice on our earways tonight, uh, Baba Sengo Bahi. Tenai Mwari. Tenai Mwari. Up your mighty race. We can accomplish what we will. Garvey lives. Garvey lives. lives. Messiah lives. Messiah lives. lives. Yeah. Yeah. All right, kings and queens. And just to quickly remind brothers and sisters of our uh, program tomorrow evening. Tenai Mwari. I think that's what you're about to do, Baba brothers. Yes, sir. Tell them worry. Yes, indeed. The tomorrow we're going to be looking at who is Carlos Cooks, uh, one of the, the stalwarts of the UNIA who continued that legacy of Papa Garvey uh, between the legacies of Malcolm Messiah Garvey and was a, stu- a, t- a teacher to Omwali Malcolm X. Also, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, that's the 9th of Messiah, because we don't call it August, it's Messiah, 7 p.m. Uh, at Mama Africa Culture Shop, 282 High Road, Leighton, E10, 5PW. Our presenter is Brother Ola Tunji Heru. You can check all the information at alkebulan.org forward slash messiah 2016 and also um um sorry so yeah also um i'm not forgetting our messiah children's day taking place on friday the 12th of messiah from the hour of 11 a.m at the same venue tenamwari tenamwari brothers and sisters so we see i look forward to seeing you all tomorrow evening and I close, as I always do, in the words of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Gavi, who says, Unite, organize, now or perish. Rise, you mighty African people, for you can accomplish whatever you will. Rumbidzo kunamwariye Africa, to the God of Africa, be the glory. Tendai mwari. Tendai mwari, brothers and sisters. We should also announce the celebration of Mark of Mark and Messiah Garvey's birthday on the 17th of Messiah by the One Aim Division of the UNIA ACL, St. Andrew's Church, uh, Brockley and Wickenham Road, London, SE4 2 SA Kings and Queens, do check that out. This has been Africa Speaks with our Kebulan on Galaxy Radio Kings and Queens. Do this is our second in our Messiah season, Messiah Radio Kings and Queens. It is Messiah Radio. Tune in next week as we continue to Messiah rise, to revolutionize, and to talk it straight and make it plain. Rane, we say, Ten Ten Nine Wari. Gavi lives. Gavi lives. Messiah lives. Messiah lives. Messiah Storm. The annual event honoring Marcus Messiah Garvey, bringing you the Black Music Revolution in progress. It's the Messiah Storm 10th anniversary, and this year we're going in big. Hosted by Shaka Ra. With a heavyweight lineup, Featuring the very best in revolutionary entertainment, including full live band, Ashiba and the African Revolution, Dirty Goods, JJ Souls, the return of the best kept secret spoken word collective, Raspek Firebingi, Soldier MC, and Mr. Messiah Storm himself, Gallant. Doors open at 5 p.m. with the Black Power Market, putting Black Group Economics into action. Messiah Storm takes place on Saturday, the 27th of Messiah, August, at the Caribou Centre, 7, Gresham Road, London, SW9, 7, PH. Tickets, £10 in advance, more on the door. Limited edition early bird tickets going for just £7. Get yours now at alkebulan.org. That's A L K E B U L A N dot org forward slash Messiah Storm. This is an event not to be missed. Messiah Storm 10th anniversary special. The Black Music Revolution in progress. Supported by Galaxy Radio and Got Kush TV. Messiah Storm. The annual event honoring Marcus Messiah Garvey, bringing you the Black Music Revolution in progress. It's the Messiah Storm 10th anniversary, and this year we're going in big! Hosted by Shaka Ra! With a heavyweight lineup featuring the very best in revolutionary entertainment, including full live band Ashiba and the African Revolution, Dirty Goods, JJ Souls. 
The return of the best kept secret spoken word collective Raspek Fire Bingy, Soldier MC And Mr. Messiah Storm himself Gallant Doors open at 5pm with the Black Power Market Putting Black Group Economics into action Messiah Storm takes place on Saturday the 27th of Messiah August at the Caribou Centre 7 Gresham Road London SW9 7 PH Tickets £10 in advance More on the door Limited edition early bird tickets going for just £7 Get yours now at alkebulan.org That's A-L-K-E-B-U-L-A-N dot org forward slash Messiah Storm This is an event not to be missed Messiah Storm 10th anniversary special The Black Music Revolution In progress Supported by Galaxy Radio Understand This is for all of my ancestors Who were raped Who were killed And hung Because of their plight for freedom And for dignity They died for me And they died for you This is for them to know that yes may not be perfect <laughs> makes mistakes and can sometimes hurt you you don't always understand them and you don't always like them but when it comes down to it they're the ones who will have your back love you nurture you pick you up during the bad times and celebrate you during the good <laughs> well at least they should <laughs> I'm talking about family, y'all, your tribe, your elders, your children, and your friends. The people you love and the people who love you for you and not for what you have. Never forget where you've come from. Never forget your family. See, when you're feeling like nothing, they'll remind you that you're something and someone special. Respect who you are. Respect where you are.